the most venomous creature on the planet calls the ocean its home. It is not a snake, nor a fish. In fact, it doesn't even have teeth, and is almost invisible. It is none other than the box jellyfish. Being stung by one is almost a certain fate of death, and you may never even see it coming. Here are 10 interesting facts about the box jellyfish. Number 10. Fatal stings are more frequent than you think. Box jellyfish stings are most common in Australia, while most victims are swimmers with exposed skin. While there are many varieties of venomous jellyfish in Australian waters, a sting from the box jellyfish is distinguished by its extreme pain leading to paralysis and more often than not, death. It is hard to determine exactly how many people die each year from a box jellyfish sting. Many of the countries where they can be found don't require death certificates, causing many box jellyfish sting related deaths to be untallied. It is also possible that stings may have caused drowning and heart attacks or other complications that ultimately led to death. The National Science Foundation believes that anywhere between 20 and 40 people die every year in the Philippines alone due to box jellyfish stings, not including the few lucky souls who managed to survive. To put this into perspective, let's look at shark attack death statistics. It is estimated that only 3 people die each year worldwide from shark attacks. That means that in the Philippines alone, 10 times as many people die from a box jellyfish sting than the rest of the entire planet does to shark attacks. Number 9. Box jellyfish stings can attack the skin, nerves, and heart. When a box jellyfish wraps its tentacles around its victim, its cells react with a chemical on the victim's skin, prompting tiny dart-like substances to release. The darts pierce the victim's flesh and shoot venom into their bloodstream. Within minutes, the victim's blood pressure rises rapidly, their head begins to pound and their heart starts to beat rapidly, or sometimes stops entirely. People that have been stung can also go into shock from sheer pain alone and may drown if they are unable to swim back to shore. As long as the jellyfish's tentacles stay in contact with the victim, venom will continue to be released. How serious an attack can be depends on the size of both the jellyfish and the victim. Because the venom of the box jellyfish can attack the skin, nerves, and heart at the same time, in most circumstances, a sting is fatal. Number 8. Stings can drive you mad. Mark Whalen has been stung by a box jellyfish, and he lived to tell the tale. He related how he crossed the path of the creature in Gordons Bay, Australia. He says, The pain attacks your body at a speed that is so fast it cannot be measured. Already, your lungs are paralyzed and your stomach is turned upside down. Simultaneously, your tongue is trapped and quickly dries out while your jaws slam shut and your eyes squeeze tight. Your ears go deaf, your muscles tense in an attempt to combat the pain. Then they release and succumb to its awesome power. You are defeated without having a chance to put up a fight. It's almost impossible to swim as a sense of calm courses through your body, informing you to just breathe in the water and the pain will go away. For 48 hours of insanity and the fear of continual suffering, I was finally able to summon the strength to pick myself up and get to the hospital. Waylon isn't alone in experiencing dark thoughts after a box jellyfish sting. Doctors report how victims are often consumed by anxiety and beg for death. Number 7. Not all box jellyfish are venomous. Box jellyfish don't like cold water, so they can be found hanging out in warmer waters all over the world. Many of these jellyfish are not venomous. However, the most venomous, and therefore the most dangerous, live in the oceans around Australia and the Indo-Pacific Ocean. 
Chironex flakuri, the largest and deadliest of all box jellyfish, stays mostly in the waters around Australia. It is considered the most venomous of all marine creatures on Earth. Box jellyfish populations have spiked in recent years, possibly due to either climate change, spillage of fertilizers that deplete oxygen in the ocean, or overfishing. Since fish are the primary predators of jellyfish, and those factors kill off fish, box jellyfish are finding it easier to survive and reproduce. Number 6. Box jellyfish can control their movement. Unlike most jellyfish, which get around by simply letting the current take them where they will, box jellyfish can swim. They are able to physically propel themselves through the water and can reach swimming speeds of up to 4 miles per hour. That might not seem too fast, but compared to drifting aimlessly, box jellies are pretty speedy. Being able to move as they desire allows box jellyfish to hunt for food and travel elsewhere if prey becomes scarce. By swimming, they can evade predators such as fish and turtles and escape dangerous currents that could potentially harm them as well. Number 5. Box jellyfish have 24 eyes but no brain. Box jellyfish are the only species of jellyfish to have eyes, and not just two like most creatures. Instead, they have 24. They use this special adaptation when they swim, and are able to make turns and easily navigate through tight areas and around objects. Their 24 eyes can detect the size and color of an object, as well as the level of light in the water surrounding them. However, researchers have discovered that they can't detect transparent objects very well. The eyes of a box jellyfish are located on structures that hang below their bodies, with one eye on top and the other at the bottom. The location of their eyes gives them the ability to see almost all of their surroundings at once. However, since jellyfish have no brain, scientists are still trying to figure out how they process what they see. Number 4. Box jellyfish are extremely good hunters. Because box jellyfish can both see and swim, they have adapted to become excellent hunters. They enjoy dining on plankton, crustaceans, and fish eggs, and have also been observed devouring the larvae of other jellyfish. They have very large stomachs and will eat their fill when they find a good source of food. In order to kill their prey, box jellyfish catch it with their tentacles, use their venom to kill it, and then swallow it whole. Number 3. They get their name from their shape. Instead of the dome-shaped bell found on most jellyfish, box jellyfish have a cubic shape with four distinct sides, and each bottom corner is equipped with as many as 15 tentacles. Box jellyfish use their 5,000 cells along the length of their tentacles to sting, and since these tentacles can grow up to 10 feet in length, it is possible to get stung from quite a distance. Other than their long tentacles, box jellyfish are somewhat small. They don't usually grow more than 10 inches wide, about the size of a basketball. Plus, their bodies are mostly transparent, meaning people often don't see them in the water until it's too late. Number 2. Box jellyfish can reproduce both asexually or sexually. In the wild, box jellyfish have been observed to only live for about one year, and those studied in the lab only lasted about nine months. However, their reproductive process can sometimes take longer than their actual life as a full-grown jellyfish. Like other jellyfish, adults can reproduce sexually by releasing eggs and sperm into the water. A planula is formed, and it becomes the jellyfish larval stage. Planula grows into polyps, which attach themselves to a surface using their tiny tentacles to connect with their brothers and sisters through a system resembling feeding tubes. Then the polyps reproduce asexually and clone themselves into what will eventually become an adult jellyfish. Number 1. If you seek medical attention quick enough, you can live. 
Marine biochemist Dr. Angel Yanagihara has become one of the world's leading experts on box jellyfish and has her own survival story. While swimming in Hawaii, she swam directly into a group of jellyfish and was stung by several tentacles. She managed to swim back to shore and passed out. Fortunately, someone had called the paramedics. Yanagihara was saved, but she wasn't quite sure exactly how she had survived. Yanagihara dedicated her life's work from then to studying box jellyfish and managed to discover exactly how their venom attacks the cardiovascular system. She used this knowledge to create medicines in IV and topical form that could be given to box jellyfish victims to help stop the venom's progress and save their hearts. Although her work has focused on helping people after they've been stung, she believes more warnings and better education about box jellyfish would be more effective in the long run. Have you ever been stung by a jellyfish? We would love to hear your story. Tell us in the comment section below and we may feature it in one of our future videos.